another type of rational equation you might run into is when you have an x in the denominator or a variable in the denominator. So, for example, if I had something like 3 plus 6 over x equals negative 5. Now, instead of having numbers in the denominators, I have a variable in there. But that's okay. Don't forget, variables are just numbers. They follow all the same rules as numbers, pretty much. We just don't know which specific number it, it represents. So, what we can do, we can, uh, we certainly couldn't solve this and get 1x. We have to get that x out of the denominator. And so I can use my tricks. I can multiply on both sides by whatever I want. And in this case, I'm going to choose x because I want that x to cancel out in the bottom there. And so I do the same thing over here, multiply on x on the other side to keep my equation balanced. Can't forget that. And so again, we use the distributive property and we get x, x times 3, which is the same thing as 3 times x. I'm going to write 3 times x because it looks a little, looks a little more conventional. Um, so, and then I get 6 over x times x. You can write it as x over 1 if that's helpful to you. Um, so I get 3x plus, what happens when I simplify this fraction here, the x is, right, same number on top and bottom, any number divided by itself just gives you 1. So I just end up with 6 times 1 over 1, which is the same thing as 6 equals negative 5x. And so now I'm just back to the same kinds of equations we were solving before. I just have to get the x's on one side and the numbers on the other. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. You could add 5x to both sides. It doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer either way. Um, so subtract 3x from both sides. Okay. And then I end up with 6 equals negative 8x. When I combine my like terms over here, negative 5x minus 3x gives me negative 8x. And then I've got just 6 left when I subtract positive 3x and negative 3x. gives me no x's over there, just like I want it. All right, and so I just have to finish up the problem. I have to get the x by itself. So I can divide on both sides by negative 8. So I end up with 6 over negative 8 equals x. And then I reduce this fraction and I get... 3 over negative 4 equals x. Or you could write it as negative 3 fourths. They are the same number. Positive divided by a negative is negative. A positive divided by a positive and then the negative of that. Same answer, same, both negative. So, um, and that's it. So if you have an x in your denominator, remember it's just a number. You can still multiply by that x or whatever um, is convenient to get rid of your denominator.